I made my YouTube channel in May of 2011. It's almost 13 years old at this point. It wasn't even my first channel. And when I started, I basically wanted to be a Let's Player, like all of my icons were back in the day. Now we're going to react to the death of the Let's Play by Chasenton. You thought Fuck it was you. this easy, huh? Fuck You're you. funny. You, you can go on YouTube and record yourself playing a game. Big money. But yeah, that's what I thought. When I first started, I thought I saw other people doing it. I thought, hmm, I can do that too. Yeah, I mean, how hard could it be? You get yourself a capture card, you go on, you just sit down with your mic on, you just record yourself playing a funny game. That's all you had to do back in the day. 10 minute video playing Happy Wheels, and then upload it, bang, zoom, you're done. There's one thing you forgot. The passage of time. Back in the day, it was me, the family computer, and You're Zach so Scott. <laughs> sit back and just shoot from a distance, you little pussy. Okay, let's just mute that guy. <laughs> Isn't Zach Scott like a really family friendly channel as well? That's really funny. Yeah, from what I remember, Zach Scott is a very family friendly YouTuber with 12,000 videos. My God, there's so many. <laughs> just, I love when people online are like that. Apologies. This is a fucked up friend group. I remember watching so many Let's Players back in the day. You probably had your own team of ragtag Let's Players. Everyone did. I must yeah, I mean, I used to love the creatures. SSOH PKC, Uber Hacks on Over. I used to watch even some Toby games back then. I dabbled with a bit of DSP, Dark Side Phil. And now, obviously, now that's not really the best to, uh, to watch. But still, I, I, I loved Let's Plays back in the day. Not mine, but... They're they're like completely interchangeable. Reupload this video, but replace every mention of Zach Scott with your own favorite. Like, I don't know, Marcus Plarkus. Uh, don't, don't be afraid, though. They That's just completely like to say hi. absurd. My main bread and butter was Zach, Zach Scott. Scott. Subscribe, Subscribe if you, you have not. not. Blitzwinger, he did Lego stuff. Zebra Gamer, he did Little Big Planet stuff. Get the hell out of my classroom. I usually bunch them together in my brain, not really because they had a big impact on the internet, except my boy Zach. But there are those channels where you look at the past to the present, and there's some discrepancy between the views. I love. Oh man, okay, this is a massive change. Jesus Christ, 1.7 million. Actually, to be fair, this is only for one year ago. I seem to notice with the Let's Play channels, part one will do insanely well. Then part two will have like 30% of the views. And after that, everything seems to fall off. And I can never understand why people just don't want to follow a series. I guess it's a lot of a time investment. I used to do Let's Plays a lot. And that's why I want to talk about this because I used to, for the longest time, for many, many years, I think I did Let's Plays for about 10 years which is a long time to be doing Let's Plays. I understand that. Very, very long time indeed. Uh, I did them in different ways and different methods. I did the, the tried and true original type of LP, which is you just record yourself for... I have posted way too many videos. You record yourself for 30 minutes, basically do no editing whatsoever, and then you upload it. Uh, I, I did that kind of Let's Play, and then you transition to the type of Let's Play where you do it with a person. You got someone in, you do like a Soul Link or a versus Nuzlocke with someone, and you upload that as well. I even did the type of Let's Play. I'm going to show you my private videos now. Back in 2011, I did Let's Plays of Fallout DLCs that are now unlisted and you can't really find anymore. All the way back in 2011. These things have 400 views. The videos were cut really badly. They didn't even have intros. I'd like to think I've come pretty far, and that, but I'm really probably like 20% better than I used to be yep. back then. Yep, gonna have to fix my lens. Oh, I've got six stim packs. Wow. The video looked terrible, but man, for 2011, that was pretty good. So I've done all the kind of Let's Plays, and now I don't really do them anymore. If you look at my channel, I still upload way too many videos. So, so many freaking videos, Jesus Christ. But I don't really do Let's Plays anymore because they've fallen off. I'd say I still enjoy them. I watch a Game Grumps video every now and then, but the last proper Let's Play that I did was with Vinny in a Fire Red Reef Leaf Green randomized Lostock versus, and I said after that, okay, that's enough. Uh, I don't really need to do any more because at that point I was just doing them because I felt like I needed to do them, and it wasn't something that really creatively fulfilled me anymore, and it wasn't something that I really felt like doing anymore. So now we do them, we fight videos, which yeah, I know that we fight videos. There's a ton of those out there, and. People do them all the time. Is it creatively fulfilling for me? Right now, it is because I like to find really dumb ways of doing them. Whenever you find a Then We Fight video on my channel, it's usually a pretty unique idea, I like to think. And it's done in a pretty silly way that other people won't do it. Sometimes it's a little bit too complicated because I like to think that my stuff is a little bit, a little bit different. Just a little bit. 
I realize it's not that much different because I'm reusing ideas that other people have used and it's not super unique when compared to most of the other Lemmy Fight videos out there on the internet, but I'm enjoying them so far and they seem to do well and people seem to enjoy them. So that might be the next niche thing that happens until whatever new comes along. But Let's Plays have lasted a very long time and there still are a lot of Let's Play channels that do pretty well out there. I love Zach Scott still and he's doing pretty good, but like compared to a couple years ago, yeah, this ain't Luigi's Mansion numbers. I think more people watch. <laughs> this than people who, who knew the game existed there's a couple more suspects actually it would be it'd be victims because the theme of this is like a murder i don't i don't fucking I care don't anymore jacksepticeye oh i dabbled in markiplier but only when he was playing those like viral games like fucking whack the boss and i just straight up watched jacksepticeye i think about that that um the, thing, the funny thing is, I've started watching Jacksepticeye now. I didn't used to watch Jacksepticeye and I didn't used to watch Markiplier because I kind of just fell out of watching Let's Plays with the exception of like Game Grumps. But I've now started watching some Jacksepticeye videos. There are a lot of Let's Plays. I watched him play the new God of War game, for example. That Butch Hartman image, and it's fucking me up. Remember when he wore this hat? Well, he doesn't do that anymore. He has free oh, guy shit. bucks. He doesn't have time for a hat. So yeah, despite being my favorite British person, He's just a little too mainstream. I've had my memories, but you can't live. Wait, isn't Jack from, is Jack from Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland? Because if he's from, if he's from the Republic of Ireland, he's definitely, that. I, I feel like that's a kind of an insult to call him British. <laughs> well, I wonder if he said that on purpose. That's kind of funny. Damn. I remember being on a family computer and watching Happy Wheels Let's Play by him, but I wasn't supposed to because he said some pretty crazy things. And he started every video with slapping the fuck out of you. He's kicking your ass. Also, Happy Wheels had, blood and gore and a whole lot of red so i wouldn't I, I would only watch it when nobody was in the room if someone did walk in i don't know what i did i probably just like poured water in the circuit so it was blue screen this has nothing to i love the messy who, who know what the fuck is going on style of this video it's like kind of like all over the place this is how my mind works Jack, but i remember being at the computer watching every part of a brawl what? playthrough until it was like 3 a.m and my eyes hurt and it got to the point where my mom had to ask me if i was okay I wasn't, and it led me down this path. The signs were deafening. I may, I might have to make a separate thing for this, but I guess I have to mention orange. Minecraft Let's Players. Do you know Dude, I never watched a single Minecraft Let's Play. I stayed clear of that entire franchise. Where we are? I need help. Ah! Oh God, my arm! Oh my! What the? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Oh my God! Did that? That guy just blow up? Try to blow me up with a bomb? Man, this is how I feel like I sounded a few years ago, but I feel like this is also how I sound now. Is that a terrorist? There's so much- <laughs> Oh god, what? Is... overlap with this and just so much shit in general, so let's get it out of the way. Remember the Minecraft story mode murder, murder mystery thing? Yeah. With all the YouTubers in it? Uh-huh. Wait, had YouTubers in it? What? Trying to sort of be the helpful person through- Lots. You know, I respect Captain Sparkles a lot. Captain Sparkles has went through everything and seen everything about YouTube. Captain Sparkles has been there since like the very beginning and he's gone through all these different phases. He's even talked about retiring as well, like MatPat did, but I respect that he's still, he's still hanging around. And look at that. He's still getting 520,000 views in a five hour video. That is quite frankly ludicrous. I'm glad he's still doing so well too. That's awesome. It's a bad things happening and death me Jack. trying to save captain sparkles Jack. the first kill of that is like a fake youtuber who doesn't exist and his name is like big dog or something I'm very very funny show up super late make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on i'm captain sparkles there's a funny joke where dan tdm's hair keeps changing but it doesn't really work unless you remember the very specific time he kept changing his hair in like 2016 I mean, the fans of Dan CDM are gonna love those references. Dan's also a lovely guy too. What the fuck was this? Ha <laughs> ha. Never going to work. You wrote it. Ha. <laughs> what is this? This I'm is Dan's show? It. Dan TDM had a show? Oh, I don't care anymore. There's no more Dr. Trioris. He fell Dr. off. Dr. Trioris! No! Where'd he go? The homophobic bastard. Stacy plays. <laughs> <laughs> Where did these clips come from, dude? Uh, I don't know who that is. And Stampy are the only ones. Oh man, Stampy, dude. My brother used to love Stampy. I have a brother that is about 10 years younger than me. Okay, new Paris Law just dropped. I don't really talk about my family very often, very often because this is the internet. Why would they do that anyway? So I have a brother that's 10 years younger than me and he used to love Stampy's videos. Absolutely loved it. 
Like when he was growing up, like that was his, he mainlined that stuff. He snorted Stampy Longnose on a daily basis. And even just recently, Stampy Longheads has stopped uploading videos. He stopped his uh, big series. He had like 823 episodes in. The series that, that my brother loved so much and would I grew up with. And I would hear the, the intro is like, hello, it's Stampy. And, I, I, and so he's like, it's Stampy's lovely world every day. Even just recently, YouTubers have started to slow down and retire. I'm sure you've seen the MatPat video recently about MatPat retiring. Not really a Let's Player, but it's just a natural conclusion. When people do something for 10 years, you get really tired of doing the same thing over and over again. And it's either you change what you're doing or maybe you just stop doing it entirely and you maybe move on to something else because, hey, I'm not going to, I'm making the assumptions, but I think that Stampy probably made a lot of money from his, from his series. Not that that is obviously the main thing or the most important thing that matters, but I think that he doesn't have to do this financially to keep himself going anymore. Look at these videos with like tens of millions of views from 10 years ago. He, I'm sure he's made his money. He's quite comfortable, which means he's able to do what he wants to do now. And honestly, when you're at that point, just uploading Let's Plays for years and years and years after that just isn't what most people want to do. To survive, and they apparently showed up in Season 2, which surprised me. But if I was asked to be in Minecraft Story Mode, you bet I'm getting second. <laughs> I need to stop. This could be like nine different videos. Oh, and I'm Captain Sparkles. At least this was like made a while ago. I don't want to know what YouTubers would be in it now. Yeah, what YouTubers would be in I'm Minecraft story note now? Got laid off. No, I didn't watch them, but <laughs> I have dude? something to say. And that thing is Think Noodles. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yes, Kevin. I know the Minions movie. I know. I've heard enough about it over the last week. Please just. <laughs> please just. I have no words. Just remember this for, for as long as you can. Oh, I am so hungry. It was 64 burgers. Oh, that was tasty. I didn't watch them, but. Who wants to talk about Skyda's Minecraft? Oh no, dude, let's not go into that rabbit uh, hole. You abuse your wife. It looks exactly like oh, Badger from Breaking geez. Bad. It's actually messed up. You Did Skyda's Minecraft sell his YouTube channel? I remember there being a screenshot of him trying to sell his YouTube channel. Yeah, here it is. Start your brand off with a diamond play button. Dude, I can't imagine trying to buy a YouTube channel. 11.2 million subs. How much was he trying to charge for it? Not that I'm interested, I'm just kind of curious, you know? You want to know who he should have called? Right. Is, that, is, that, is that him? Uh, <laughs> no, it's didn't not. you abuse? It's the guy from Breaking Bad. Yeah. My two favorite Minecraft Let's Players are Pat and Jen from Popular MMOs. Motherfucker played like two MMOs. Well, that was a huge channel, wasn't it? I'm, I'm pretty sure there was like some sad ending to this. Fuck the towel, he threw in the entire damn carpet. Thinking about Pat and Jen just makes me sad. They made this roleplay series that I always watch because, yeah, there's nothing else on. They also made books, and yeah, this is this would be books? required reading. But they did something called divorce, and a bunch of other stuff happened. I don't really like. Oh yeah, they did divorce. About yeah, people's life, and you could say this should be private. But look at his video. He doesn't care. It's public. You need to watch what happened to popular MMOs. I need to. Was it was Domain it big? It. My new girlfriend completing the mission. Oh, man. Point. It boiled down to Jen wanting a baby and oh, Pat did it. not. So if you want to know there. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's just a really natural way to come to the conclusion of a relationship. A very important part of life. You can't really come to the middle ground with have a baby or don't have a baby. You can't have a half a baby. You shouldn't have half a baby. Oh, and I'm Captain Sparkles. And then Pat made videos about his new girlfriend being the American Psycho, and I don't know what's real anymore. What? His channel has been German? for a year, and Jen's last upload was nine months ago. He has all that book money, so he's probably good, but after watching for so long, I just I just want some sort of close. Yeah, when you divorce, though, you have to give half your money to your spouse, oh, don't sure. you? I mean, they must have so much money from that, though. When you're a big YouTube channel, uh, like five, ten, eight year ago, something like that, you're making crazy money. The ad rev was insane back then. It's not like that anymore. Even in the gaming space, which the gaming space, oh Jesus, the first video on his channel is Will Jen be coming back? Oh my, what's I went to jail. What what's happening on this channel now? What, what were they mainly big for? They play a lot of World of Warcraft. Oh, it's Minecraft. Okay, sure, all right. Made some try not to laugh videos. Okay, yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? Oh, meet my girlfriend. Wow, there's... Oh, God, another brought a, I brought a new girl to the channel. New girl. Oh, damn, there's a lot... A lot about just, like, girlfriends and stuff like that. Jen is leaving. Jen and her boyfriend buy our new book. Wow, there's a... Hey, I mean, I'm not gonna judge what people put on their YouTube channel. You can put whatever you want on your YouTube channel.
He should have died in Minecraft story mode. And those are the Minecraft Wait, who are we talking YouTubers. About? Get the fuck out, except you, except you, you stay. stay. Now it's my time to shine. I have to remember what I'm fighting for. Wait a second. He stopped making Luigi's Mansion videos? What? What's Luigi's the point of still going on? What? Dude, this is unironically how some people act in the comment section. Like, what? You stopped doing this incredibly niche thing that I liked and, like, maybe no one else really cared about? This is why you're not good anymore. This is why you sold out. I used to watch you and now you're not funny anymore. You changed. Well, sometimes... It's not the YouTuber that changed, it's you. Sometimes your preferences change, your tastes change, and it's not an outward force, it's an inward one. You have to look inward. What? What, what am I fighting for? for? <coughs> when someone don't upload a Luigi Mansion video anymore. Back in the day, he was a pretty popular little guy. Like, here's something, he played pineapple in one of the first annoying orange videos. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm a pineapple. <laughs> Why the long face? <laughs> That's rude. I'm a pineapple. They should have gotten him. God, I fucking hate the annoying orange. The TV show instead of Toboscus. I would have given up everything. Oh, dude, Toboscus, that's a throwback as well. I remember when there used to be this battle between PewDiePie, Uberhaxel Nova, and Toboscus over, like, who was the best, and all the fan bases would, like, go to war and all that. And then Toboscus went weird and off a cliff, and he got into conspiracy theories, and he started hanging out with Kyle Rittenhouse for some reason. That's like, really strange. Just for a taste. He had a main channel, but it's basically abandoned now. The fact that there's an origin for this pixel art is messing me up. It's like that one MatPat image. It feels fake. Wait, that's real? I thought it was like a, a cryptid. Fake. I did actually watch this back in the day, and let me just say, I have nothing to say, actually. This is just probably someone's awakening. He made these fact videos and spider videos. What? Another giant garage spider. Oh, God, that's horrid. I, I hate it. Spider <laughs> videos. Oh, yeah, I oh, kind of get why it's abandoned, but I miss it. The main thing he's famous for, at least to me, is making a series longer than One Piece. Every single Zack Scott plays Zombies 2 video is a different thing that completely stands on its own merit. One there's no way he has 1,080 fucking Plants vs. Zombies videos. Oh my god. This is insane. How- what do you do in Plants vs. Zombies for that many videos? Oh no, did he stop uploading- no! Uh, uh, 1,141 Plants vs. Zombies video. I mean, at that point, you know you're doing it for the love of the game. You don't do this many videos on a certain game for any other- anything less than the love of the game. Really. That's a ridiculous amount. There comes a point where you think, have I have I planted all of the zombies? I think he's played Plants vs. Zombies for the most time that anyone has ever played any video game. 142 videos on Splatoon 3. You know this is a guy that just loves the game. Once you watch one, you have to watch the whole series again just to get the story. They are not completely interchangeable, and each one has its own set pieces and characters. I know it's not yeah. all he does, he does <laughs> Mario and... Slender yeah. Man. Ah! But I love this PVZ series. PVZ 1, that's 10 videos worth of content. PVZ 2, over 1,000. I always think Jesus about how Christ. this is probably a really good archive of every update in the game and when it happened. His first video is actually how I found out about the game existing. It showed up in my recommend and I was like, oh my god, mom, look. And then I got PVZ 2 connects blind bags for my birthday. His relationship with PopCab was pretty good because they would be nothing without him. Cattail was a fluke. They don't care anymore. She don't love you no more. But it just kind of stopped. I still love Zack Scott, but I feel like the Let's Play format, or at least what the public thinks the Let's Play format can be, is very limiting. I mean, this is basically it. Hey guys, Cattail Gaming here. Hit the subscribe. Here's the crafting bitch. Uh, guys, I did not just say a bad word. I said craft crafting bitch. It, it might sound like. I feel like the Let's Play enjoyers on YouTube are a very small minority at this point. There's some Let's Play channels that still do really good, and I want to give a shout out to to my, my good friends, Shady and Dylan, that just opened, very brave what they did, just opened a Let's Play channel, and they are absolutely killing it so far. They're uploading long videos, and they're absolutely destroying it. This is like the peak of Let's Playing on YouTube right now. It's not like you can just do this anymore. Most of the people that do this anymore, they don't get any of you. No one watches it anymore. Like a bad word, <laughs> but, it, but it wasn't, guys. Uh, what the fuck? Person's personality and humor. Let's Plays have more older viewers. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Let's Plays actually have a lot more older viewers because younger viewers don't really... They never grew up with it. It wasn't the only thing that they had to watch. With us, or at least my generation growing up, if you went onto YouTube and you wanted to watch video game related content, you're watching Let's Play because the highly edited challenge run type of thing, the very specific 
niche type videos. There was no Lenwe fights. There was no, there was no big, highly edited, let's put one big challenge into one video. There was no completionist runs back then. If you wanted to watch video game content, you were watching someone sit down with a microphone for 30 minutes with no editing and you liked it. And we didn't have anything and else. I can carry it, but after a while, I get tired of it. Maybe it's more of a me thing, and that's why I'm more into compilations of playthroughs instead of being there for all of it. Zach's channel is slowing down a little, especially if you want to pull out the statistics. But to be fair, he's changing with the times somewhat. He's making shorts and actually making some videos with more editing and commentary. Hopefully, things work out for him. He's one. It is interesting to see how the older YouTubers are adapting, because I feel like I've adapted decently well to the the change in times. I mean, I made this channel just for reactions because. I don't know, I just like to talk about random things. I have a lot of thoughts in my head, and I have a lot of words, and sometimes the words go faster than my thoughts in my head, and then I just splurble a little bit, yeah, sometimes. But my channel, my YouTube channel, has adapted pretty well over the years. In fact, I would say now it's actually doing sometimes. the best that it ever has. Uh, those are my member-only videos. If you want to become a member on the channel, you get access to member-only videos. But it's doing the best that it ever has. Uh, and honestly, it blows my mind that I would ever be able to get 100,000 views on a video. And I've tried to do different things. And I've tried to do, go into different niches over the years. You can see that my most popular videos are reaction videos. So I did those for a bit. But I've also done a lot of other stuff too. If I were to just stay with the one thing that had success in the first place, which was just doing Let's Plays, I'd probably be a little bit unhappy, but also it wouldn't be doing very well at this point. One of those guys, where I feel like you can never see them in a negative light. Just one of those like rays of sunshine in this gloomy world. What is this? Zomburbia? The fuck is Zomburbia? Plant vs. Zombies thing. I feel like I need to go and play the entire Plants vs. Zombies and then come back to this so I understand the lore. It was animation, but it was like a single <laughs> fan animation. <laughs> And then he hired this guy, James Farr. I used to actually watch his other animations too. A lot of his animation is completely rigged based, which is fine, especially if you want to get stuff done around here. I watch your stream, so sue me, but they might do worse, they might shoot Whoa. me. They might tie me up and abuse me. I might beg for my life as they noose me, so I beep a lot. This is Zach Scott. Me. Yeah, these people are biased, there's people the highest, they reaches this guy, so I'm- He used to animate fan animations for people like Jacksepticeye and other projects like these Nintendo- I did used to love the animations that people used to make. This fell off. Animation fell off on YouTube and it's really sad. A Robert Ross is single-handedly trying to revitalize it from the dead. And like Jaden obviously still does well and Old Ones Out does well. And like the story time animators still have their place and they still do really well. But animations and fan animations for about like Let's Players and stuff like this, like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. I used to love that stuff. I think Game Grumps uploaded a lot of their fan animations to that channel and they pay animators, which is great because it makes sense. The creator of the channel used to be an animator, so he understands the value of the work that's put into those. But man, they were no really fun. parodies that had more references. It is coming back in short form content, but it really doesn't make any kind of revenue. So it's really unfortunate that the animators don't get the revenue they deserve. What is going on with Peach? Ready Player One. And he also tried to make this other thing that he probably wanted to get picked up for a full series, but nope. Netflix is feeling too odd right now. And then he makes zacky wacky videos the end. I'm actually really happy that Odd Ones Out got his own Netflix series, though. It's really One cool. One really cool thing I did find was his cameo. Yes. Cameo? You can pay Zach to say stuff. Yeah? So did you, did, you, did you do it? Did you, did you get him to say something? Hello, Smithers. You're quite good. And Zach, if you see this, you should make another Let's Play of PVZ1. It'd be cool to see you revisit it. Goodbye. Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? My name is Blitzwinger. Oh, Blitzwinger. Oh my god, <laughs> Blitzwinger. <laughs> he also made some Blitzwinger? PVZ videos, but I didn't watch those. I watched his Lego playthrough. I don't know why I didn't watch his PVZ videos. I guess I just decided one was enough. He also did these blind bag. Oh, this is, yeah, this is, oh my God. This is another 11,000 videos. You know what's crazy is that anyone can upload to YouTube. Any can upload, anyone can upload and you can upload anything and you can upload as much as you want. How, how do they afford the server space for this? How, how do they, they surely they don't make enough money for that. That's crazy. You could go on and you could upload 12 hour videos that get zero views and they just have to host it. They have to host the entire fucking thing. How do they, what's, where's the money? I know this Google, Google has so much money, but I can't believe they've not, age gated or not age gated premium gated uploading yet i feel like it's gonna happen at some point not to give them ideas i don't think they should but man how is this shit free like openings with lego figures and i like these every time you got a double i would throw my monitor in the trash like how can you even bear doing the same thing over and over again no 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 no, no. dude oh my god 237 episodes i did 200 episodes of a skyrim let's play and no one's ever gonna see it ever again <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait wait i like blitzwinger but he was one of those main loot crate guys. And that gives me an excuse to make fun of- Loot crate? Oh, dude, what a box! I also used to do these videos too, man.
That is insane. Right. Well, yeah, that's right, Rich. And I'd like to take this time to thank our other sponsor, Nerdbox. <laughs> okay, so it wasn't loot great. It was one up box, but like, come on. Oh, these were dog shit, man. I'm just going to say. One is Marvel and one is Captain Rainbow. You're Don't not winning. Say, loot dip is one of the box. Nowadays, when I look at Blitzinger, man, I'm just sad. There's no reason to dislike him personally. He hasn't done anything horrible that I know of. But bro, come on. At least he's still got the profile picture. It's a certified classic. It's just the same green arrow over and over again. Some of the titles are- oh, I'm sure it's not all the same green arrow. Like, look, th there's a red arrow there. That's that's fine. There's a, See, he's he changed it. There's red arrows now. A lot of Spider-Man going on. This must have been another old Let's Play. You know, you know what? You know who's really still killing it? Rad Brad is one of the OG Let's Players. Look at him. He's, his profile picture is just, a, it's just a Dead Space character. And he's still killing it to this day. Like, part one's a- absolutely popping off these are long videos there's no face cam there's very little editing and he just sits down and he plays video games and he stays out of the drama like this is the og let's player that made it this is the survivorship bias this is the guy that did it and is still doing it and will do it until the heat death of the universe those are misleading and he keeps on putting huge in them because that's what the kids are into i guess lego wednesday it's like What's a Wednesday. You're my hero. Now, now you're just cheapy McCheapskate. I'm gonna feel- Man, this is making me want to go down a memory lane of all the Let's Players that I used to watch now. SSOH PKC. This used to be my favorite Let's Player back in the day. And oh man, he doesn't really upload that much anymore. But I would love to just sit down and watch a Seamus video every day. It was many, many, many years ago. But god damn, he would upload so many videos. All of the creatures used to be really fantastic. Brilliant Diamond ended him. Yeah, I guess Brilliant Diamond really was that game. <laughs> this is the stuff I used to... I used to go crazy for these videos. Just someone sitting down for like 10 uh, minutes. I'm still a little bit tired, understandably so, because... Uh, the bad mic? No, I, this I, is uh, great. Stayed up to like 7 and 8. I was about to... No way. This guy. Oh, it's that girl. And this was just great. Like 14 years ago? And then there's the dark side. Like literally. The, the dark side of um, the people that I used to watch. This is quite literally the dark side of the YouTubers that I used to love watching, which is I found Dark Side Phil's channel when he started doing Fallout 3. And this stuff was like, point a camera at TV. And I used to go crazy for this too. Look at this. Oh my God. I used to go crazy for this. I understand now that Dark Side Phil is a bit of a lol cow, but you have to understand the perspective from someone a very, very long time ago. Like, Dark Side Phil has had so many videos made on him many, many years ago, some more recently, with millions of views explaining why people dislike him so much. And I, to be clear, I'm not really a fan of Dark Side Phil anymore, but I used to be. When I was probably about 13 years old, I was like, oh man, he's playing Fallout, he's saying shit and fuck, that's the best thing in the world. Oh my god, this is great. Hello, everyone. And I used to be a massive fan of the creatures too. Up until they closed their channel, I thought this was great. This is my favorite collection of 12 years ago. Man, this is such a long time ago. I used to love when everyone would come together and they play the games together, like Kutra and Nova. And it was Sly Fox Hound 2 and SSOH PKC. I know this is not going to mean anything to people that weren't around back then. To me, this actually meant a lot because this is my formative years and this is kind of what I grew up with. And the fact that it was 11 years ago, the concept of like content houses was just coming around. It was just being born. The concept of making a living off of YouTube was just being born. Now it just seems like a regular thing that just seems to make sense. But back then it wasn't. And it was so cool to see all of this develop. And I've been on YouTube just way too long, man. I've been on YouTube far too long. And the one Let's Play channel that I still enjoy to this day and I can just sit down and watch a video from is, is still Game Grumps. And I just, I just really like Game Grumps. I like the, the content. I like the personalities. And I like that they're just doing their own thing and they're still going. And that's uh, something to be happy about. So Let's Play is, while they're not dead, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty uh, on the ropes, I would say. And I don't think they're ever going to make a true comeback. But hey, I want to hear about your, your, your favorite Let's Players. Did you enjoy a good Markiplier video back in the day, watching some Five Nights at Freddy's? You just enjoy some Jack Spadicey, some Jack Septic guy. Maybe you enjoyed some Game Grounds, Mike. Maybe, maybe you like my my last plays when I used to do them as well. I don't know. Just, just let me know. It's turned into a bit of a ramble, but it made me take a trip down memory lane. And I know the video that we were reacting to was a little bit less focused, but I I am happy that it enabled me to take a look at the old stuff that I liked so much. And also be a little introspective, because if Let's Plays can die off, what's going to die off next? How am I going to adjust the stuff that I make uh, to be prepared for the future? Anyway, I'm going to go think about that. I'll see you guys later.